Belt Company, Steve and Sharice Deeds, Charles and Gail Bow, Oak Ridge Smokehouse Restaurants, Robert, Pam, and Larissa Bezetsny, Tom of the Laura Sanders, Gallup Supermarket, Leo Stop and Shop, Leo Sheer Genius, and upstairs at the downstairs, Mayor Leo Kopetsky, Davine and Kenny, The Record Rack, Barry and Melissa Shepard, Carrie and Lori Bauer, Gene, Barbara, and Christine Gittert, and Royce and Jeanette Kuje. Here come the number one ranked Schulenberg Shorthorns as they're dressed in the home black as they prepare for this district opener against the winless Brazos Cougars being led out there with Steven Sarton, one of the front Shorthorns in the middle. And Jeff, uh, you know, we, we nickname Chad Ginnert the headhunter. Well, the last two weeks, he's got the new nickname of Bull. So either Bull or Headhunter, one of the two will uh, see 61 going crazy probably tonight again. Well, nickname or not, you can count on a good game from him every week. He's just an awesome linebacker, if not the best, one of the best to come out of Schulenberg's program. A heck of a player. Yes, he is, and along with a lot of his teammates. That's why the Shorthorns remain ranked number one in the state. Defeated four Class 3A schools and a Class 4A school during the pre-district schedule, manhandled Hallettsville, uh, then got by Maynard and uh, Yoakum, the, uh, and also the Wheatley Wildcats during the uh, season. So the Horns are preparing to come out. The captains, Barry Shepard, Kurt Bezetsny, Chad Ginnert, Stephen Sarton for Brazos. Their captains include uh, Derek Lewis, and Tony Salazar as they make their way out. Schulenberg Short on Football is presented by Casper's Department Store, Frank Supply, Swanky Baumgarten Funeral Home, Mark Bryan and Bill Clazel. Schulenberg Glass, Mike and Phyllis Sharitza. Schaller Engineering, Welburn Petroleum, Hill Bank and Trust Company serving your local area for 100 years, the Watslavic Clinic and Pharmacy, Mr. B Fireworks, Tom Vargas, and more, uh, where he gives you more bang for your bucks. Holos Duncan Insurance Agency, Hugo Holos and Schulenberg and Carl Duncan and Weimer also making it possible to bring you this game here this evening. The Horns have won the toss. They want the football, and they will defend the west goal, while Brazos will be, be defending the east goal. Here on this Friday evening, it is very windy as you watch this ball game on Tuesday night on Channel 16. It's the Schulenberg Shorthorns and the Brazos Cougars as the Shorthorns prepare to run through their banner. The uh, Brazos Cougars have just made their way through theirs. Brazos only with 19 players uh, in uniform tonight. They have 21 on the roster. A few got hurt or uh, not in uniform tonight, so they may run just a little thinner. We said they have a lot of inexperience, a lot of youth. Coach Ronnie Hill, of course, uh, knows that uh, he's in a similar situation as... Uh, Coach Alan Whitty is over in Weimar. A lot of youth, but if these kids just stick together and continue on and continue to improve each and every week, that uh, good things are going to happen before their careers are ended. So the Cougars have made their way out. The uh, Shorthorns continue to wait and uh, waiting for their banner to be raised. And as this week, they're going to try to cage the Cougars. The wind will try to take the banner away. But first... The number one ranked Schulenberg Shorthorns. So the Horns come out dressed in their uh, home black uniforms and uh, all black. Of course, the Super S on the left pocket. And of course, the black uniforms trimmed with orange and white. Brazos across the way, all white trimmed in red. It's the Schulenberg Shorthorn Football. Schulenberg Shorthorn Football brought to you by Frank's Restaurant. 65 years of superior food at I-10 and Highway 77. Chuck Brown Ford, Double B Foods Incorporated, Bubba and Karen Dagan, Don Blanchett, Schulenberg Tires, it's Alfredo and Mildred Valenzuela, Victoria Bank and Trust, Prime Industries, and Eugene and Dorothy Holas. Jeff, the uh, Horns will receive some last-minute thoughts before we get the district season underway. Let's get a quick start. Don't drag and let's get this thing rolling. It's the Horns and the Brazos Cougars on Channel 16. I'm Kevin Fishbeck along with Jeff Trosky, Greg Uolo on film as always, providing the great shots for you each and every Tuesday night here on Channel 16. For the Cougars, it will be number 80, Dwayne Soa to do the kicking. Back deep, Jason Houston. 
And it's going to be a kick taken by Mark at the 15, the 20. 25 has a wall, 30. 35 yard line is where the Shorthorns will set it up with this lineup. The running backs are Jason Houston and David Raines, the quarterback, Stephen Sarton. Wide receivers are Kurt Bezetsny and Jamie Jackson. Kevin Mark is the tight end. The regulators, the offensive line, include Dustin Bogues or center. The guards are Yurik and Kujay. The tackles are Segura and Dagan. First and 10 horns, ball just shy of the 35. We have just begun here at the Shorthorn Stadium to start the 1994 District 27-2A season. The uh, Brazos Cougars had too many men on the field. Short Orange will let them re-kick. Is, is that what we're going to have, Jeff? They're going to re-kick the football? Referee count of 12 on the field. They're going to re-kick and hopefully get a little better field position than the 35. So the Shorthorns will get another shot as Jackson, is, or I should say Houston, is back deep along with uh, Reigns and Mark. The uh, kicker will have to move back five to the 35. That is uh, Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Soa. Not an overly uh, large crowd here in the early going this evening uh, for this district opener. But still, uh, we've, there's plenty of time. Of course, the Shorthorn fans have a lot of interest, a lot of love for their Shorthorns, and they will be here this evening. Of course, other district games, Platonia is at East Bernard. We're going to see what both of those two teams are made out of tonight. Uh, and then Shiner, of course, is hosting uh, Weimer. So the opening kickoff is going for not. We'll do it all over again. We had too many men on the field for the Brazos Cougars. And they will back them up to the... Is that back to the 25-yard line? Is that a 15-yard penalty, Jeff? 15 yards, uh, too many men on the field. With that wind blowing, this could be interesting. We can get some real good field position out of this. Now we know why they uh, accepted the penalty. I was thinking of a five-yarder myself, but 15, we'll take that penalty anytime. So it'll be uh, a re-kick. Jason Houston stands at the 23-yard line, and he is the deep man. So we'll try it again. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they're all intact. And this time the kickoff will go to David Reigns at the 27. Reigns has room the 40, has the 45, 50, straight at the middle of the field, field to the 40-yard line. He's one man away, Jeff, from breaking it all the way. Excellent play there. You're looking at 10, 20, 25-yard gain on a 15-yard penalty. A good decision by Hoosman to take that penalty and, and make him kick it again. We're in a great field position to start the game. Reigns cuts that to the sideline. He's got six on the board. It's first and ten horns now in Brazos territory at the 40-yard line. Sarton will bring the troops to the line of scrimmage. Bezetsny and Jackson square out here to the left. The tight end is to the right side, Kevin Mark. We'll give it to Jason Houston, looking for the outside. Cuts it back, nice move. Has seven yards on the game. Nice game for Jason Houston. And it'll bring up a second down situation. Second and about three. Give seven to Houston on that carry. Second down and three. Bradley Wright starts in the backfield and plays the Reigns, but Reigns will be in there. We do expect. Adams will split out here to the left along with Jackson. The tight end is to the right side. That's Mark. Right in Houston in the backfield. Sarton gives it to Bradley Wright. Straight up the middle has a great block from Jackson. There he goes to the 15. Then he's struck down at the 10 yard line. Had a super downfield block by Jamie Jackson. And it goes from the 33 down to the 10 yard line. It's a gain of 23 for Bradley Wright. As you got the super block from Jackson. And now the Horns have it first down and 10 from just outside the 10. Well, that's what you want on a team effort. Everybody does their part. Don't watch the play. Find somebody to hit. Get them out of the way and make a big gainer. Bezetsny, or I should say, yeah, but it's uh, Eric Aiding. Aiding and uh, Jackson to the right. Defense jumps. There's flags. We'll give it to Houston. Looking for the corner. Cuts it back up. Hit a man straight up, and he scores. Touchdown. Jason Houston, number 13 on the year. But hold the phone, does it stand? We look as though we have offsides, we do. It's a touchdown on the board for the Schulenberg Shorthorns. One minute and 32 seconds into the ball game. 
The number one ranked team in class 2A has a six to nothing lead. And Barry Shepard will be on to add the extra point. Three plays for the Horns, boom, 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 touchdown. You can't ask for a quicker start unless you would have ran the kickoff back, which almost happened. Well, I was a little worried about coming out flat after getting pretty much manhandled last week. Uh, playing Schulenberg Shorehorn football last week made the biggest difference in the world by just not giving up. But uh, expecting to come out real flat after that emotional, emotional win, uh, again, they're proving us wrong. Well, the coaches have done a super job all week getting uh, the Horns ready for the district opener. Shepard's kick is good. 10 minutes and 28 seconds left. First quarter, Schulenberg Shorthorns 7, the Brazos Cougars nothing. Drive, it goes 40 yards, and Jason Houston takes it over from 10, and the Horns lead 7 to nothing here in the first quarter. With just a minute 32 taken off the clock. Shorthorns are off to their quick start, something that they definitely wanted to do uh, against the Brazos Cougars. Is yes, to get off to that quick start. Back deep, it will be number 33 is Sean Orsack. Number seven is Michael Ward. Shromick will kick it away. Selling to the left sideline, going to hit and will go out of bounds at about the 23 yard line. Well, you know, Shromick has been uh, doing that, but a lot of that is, is, is a plan. That's something that they've been wanting to do, get the angle kicks, shorten up the field a little bit, let your pursuit get down there. Uh, if your Braz is here, you're going to take this penalty and take the football. Oh, most definitely. Uh, the few weeks that we ran that short kick like that, and Yoakum, it almost paid off. And not, I don't know if that was intentional in Yoakum, but uh, that short kick prepares you to defend against a long return. Uh, if you get a lot of speed in those guys in the back there, get it out of their hands. Don't let them get a full steam with the ball. Here's the offense for the Brazos Cougars. The quarterback, Tony Salazar, has a rifle arm. The running backs, Michael Ward and Glenn Womack. Wide receiver, Luke Foychek, and uh, or Womack is a wide receiver. The other running back is Jermaine Johnson. Uh, will set the rest of the line. Actually, 55, Derek Lewis sets up in the backfield. The offset I look. Turn, give it to Johnson. Nothing there. Tackle going to be made there by uh, Ricky Hernandez. So you have 55 in the backfield, Jeff. That's going to be uh, Derek Lewis, 235-pound senior. Well, we saw him in the track meet here last year, a big shot putter, an excellent shot putter, big man to handle. He's going to put some lumps in some Schulenberg throats this, for a while here until they can uh, get used to playing against such a big fullback. Uh, interesting call to bridge, as you might want to say. Last week we went up against a 240-pound uh, fullback, so we uh, get a little advantage of five pounds less this week. <laughs> First, uh, second down and nine for Brazos. Straight eye look. Turn and give it to Lewis, and he barrels his way through across the 31, 32 yard line. That was given to uh, Derek Lewis, number 55. That time he lined up in the tailback position, and Jermaine Johnson lined up as the fullback. Short gain of two. It brings up third down and seven for the Brazos Cougars. 9.25 left, first quarter of play. Shorthorns already lead seven to nothing. Third and seven for Coach Ronnie Hill and the Brazos Cougars. It is third down and long. Offset eye look. Salazar will pitch it outside. Johnson, the pursuit is there, not much there. Wrap him up, put him down as Jackson flies in, hits him to knock him down. Ginnard is there. Hernandez was there. Shromick was there. And so was Bozel. A gain of two on the play, or uh, one on the play. It's fourth down and six. The defense three plays and out. The offense went three plays and a touchdown. And Jamie Jackson will deepen, deepen up for the Shorthorns and await the punt. Off the foot of Wayne Sova. Good snap. Shorthorn's good rush. As Jackson will fill it at the 32. Down the sideline to the 40. 45, 50 into Cougar territory. Sam Brown just laid a pancake block on number seven, Michael Ward. And I think he ordered a side of bacon with that one. Brown, a little uh, aggressive on the hit, and it paid off. He's a big guy going against Ward. Ball is at the 48-yard line. First and ten horns, their second possession 
of the night. The first one took three plays, they scored. It's Wright and Houston in the backfield. A right and range, right and range in the backfield. Sarton wants the pass, has Jackson caught at the 45. Nice move to the 40 in the first down, 35, and up to about the 32 yard line. That's gonna be a gain of, 20, of uh, 16 on the play. Up to the 32, a gain of 16. Sarton right on the money, and a short horn first down. Uh, four offensive plays, Jeff, and the horns are just uh, uh, looking as solid as ever. Well, I'm sure Houston wants to work on all phases of the game tonight and, and tune up for the, uh, the Shana East Bernard matches. Uh, he needs to work on everything, get it all well oiled, like you might, might say. First and 10 horns, Sarton taking the snap, pitches it, Houston. Looking for the outside, looks to block from Jackson, got it. There he goes, we'll see ya. Touchdown, Jason Houston, second of the night, 14th of the year. The Blues chipper puts another six points on the board. He got another key block from uh, Jackson. That's a second touchdown block for Jamie Jackson. And the Horns now lead 13-0. And that one went for 32 yards. Excellent run. Broke that last tackle. Looked like the last guy had possibly had a chance at him. A high step just to avoid that flipping him in the legs and knocking him down. A good high stepping at the last second there to break it. Nobody was going to catch him. It's what you call turning on the Jets. Shepard will try to add the extra point on the board of the hold of Sarton. Good snap. He pitched up. And the kick is boomed on the board. We're still in the first quarter. 7.42 left. First quarter play. Horns 14. Cougars nothing. Chilmer Shorthorn football here on channel 16. The Shorthorns lead 14 to nothing. Jason Houston with a couple of touchdown runs already in this one. One from 10 and one from 32 yards out. Shepard's added both extra points. Shamick's kick will go to the left sideline. It'll be taken at the 15, the 20. They will run the, uh, well, they try to run the fake, and the man's going to be tackled by Aaron Strick. Strick fought off a blocker and uh, made a good tackle. Head up on the man. They run that... Uh, the crisscrossing uh, action and uh, the Shorthorn stayed in their lanes and Strick stayed right where he was supposed to be, fought off that blocker, made that tackle, and Brazos has it first down and 10 at the 25-yard line. First and 10, Brazos. Schulenberg already leads 14 to nothing with 7.35 left in the first quarter. Well, the defense for the Horns had a solid first possession. Three plays and out. I formation. Salazar will give it to Jackson, and he gets hit. And uh, that's going to be Gintert bringing him down. Jermaine Johnson with a carry. It's a short gain on the play. And now a timeout is being called by the Brazos Cougars with seven minutes and 21 seconds left on the first quarter clock. Short run football brought to you by Diamond S Restaurant, Fox Fire Builders. It's J.O. Renner, 10th Frame Bowling Alley, Audubon Travel Shop, Imco, Ken and Cherry Banks owners, Crumshack Wagner Insurance Agency, Kelly and Doris Sarden, Schilmer Livestock Auction Incorporated, Zimmerman's Garage, Vernon and Fawn Zimmerman owners, Schilmer Printing Office Supplies and Sports Specialties, the Prosky families, and Dan and Jill Tabor. So the Horns have started out uh, with a bang. They ended with a lot of excitement last week at Del Mar Stadium against Class 4A Wheatley when they had that 89-yard drive in the final two minutes to win the ball game, 22-21. They've carried the intensity over for this week of uh, workouts for the first district contest, and they have been relentless. Jeff, uh, officially the Shorthorns have run how many offensive plays? They've got two touchdowns on the board, five offensive plays. Uh, tell us about those Shorthorn short offensive stats. Five offensive plays, we've got 60, 72 yards rushing and 16 yard passing already. So we're looking at 80, 88 yards in five plays. Pretty awesome average. Wow. Second down and eight for the Brazos Cougars. I formation, Salazar, the man under, will uh, hand it to Johnson. He's met by Romine, he gets away, and Hernandez finishes him off. Romine stayed on the bottom, and it's a short game up to about the 30-yard line, just shy of 30, called the 29, short gain of two, 
And it's third and six. Third and six for the Brazos Cougars. The ball is at the 29-yard uh, line, their own territory. And now another timeout is being called by the Brazos Cougars. They've burned two timeouts here in the last two plays. 6.46 left, first quarter. Schulenberg, 14, Brazos, nothing. Two, uh, two of their three timeouts here in the first half on two plays. A split back look now for the, uh, nope, they'll go into the offset eye look. Offset eye look for the Cougars. Motion, first time we've seen it in the ball game. And Salazar wants to pass, looking, being rushed, those, and the man is caught, and it's a first down to the 43 yard line. Ball's gonna be caught by the tight end, Glenn Womack. Actually, Womack was the man in motion. Womack was a number 15, Womack in motion. Came down the line, caught the football for a first down. And it's gonna be a gain of 13 on the play. First down and uh, 10, that's the initial first down of the night for the Brazos Cougars. 6.20 left to go in this uh, first quarter. And the Shorthorns lead 14 to nothing over Brazos. I formation, two splits out here to the right. They will hand it to Lewis. Gets hit, wrapped up. Oh, Hernandez came over the top. Brought him down, maybe a gain of one. Ricky playing a little headhunter style out there. Uh, taking it from the ball, Chad Ginner. Aggressive, very aggressive. I, I didn't expect him to be this excited about this game. Uh, but the aggressive, you can really see him attacking the ball. The whole team's going after everything. A typical uh, shorthorn defensive effort here in the first quarter. 5.44 remaining here in the quarter. The clock is rolling, and the Shorthorns are as well. They're up 14 to nothing. Hey, we'll give uh, Lewis one yard on the carry. Brings up second down and nine. Second and nine for the Cougars. Handed up, nothing there. Maybe a loss of the yard by Lewis. Tackle made there by Dustin Bozel. And it brings up third down now. And a long nine for the Cougars. Shorthorns travel to Weimar Friday night. Renew the rivalry between the Wildcats and the Horns. It is Friday evening, 7.30 start time, Wildcat Stadium. Third down and nine for the Cougars. Set up in the offset eye. Salazar, the man under, will drop straight back, looking to pass, throws it out, and it's intercepted, then dropped by Chad Gittard. And Chad had the interception, he just dropped it. Well, it's hard to throw over somebody as big as Chad out there in the flat. Well, his long arms, big, tall, long legs, 195 pounds, with a lot of, a lot of bones sticking up in the air there. Uh, a few more inches, and that ball would have been over and been a nice completion to the sidelines, but how are you going to throw over a linebacker that big? Nobody expects a linebacker to be that tall. It's fourth down punt time for the Cougars. Jackson is back. He had a good return his first time. Ball back at the 43. Good snap, no rush. They're playing return. Jackson will catch it at the 23. Fumbles it, picks it up. Good block by Stromick. Jackson has it and then gets wrapped up and knocked down to 35 by Jermaine Johnson. Stromick with a big block. And the Shorthorns will set up for their third possession. Schulenberg's run five plays and they've scored two touchdowns. We have 424 left in the first quarter and Schulenberg on top, 14 to nothing. Ball is at the 34 yard line. First down and 10 for the Shorthorns. Sarton remains in, quarterback of course, with Wright and Houston in the backfield. Sarton with a hard count, has a man jumping, gets back. Hands it to Wright. Wright looks for a block. And then we'll take it across for a nice gain of about four or five on the, uh, give him four. And it brings up second down. Second down and six for the uh, Shorthorns who lead 14 nothing with 405 left. Well, this will probably be a, 
a quick game because both teams uh, are relying on the run. Of course, and Schulenberg continues at this pace of getting uh, the score so easily, they're going to stay on the ground and uh, not throw the football. And we've already run down to uh, 340 left to go in this first quarter. Yes, we do have the benefit of a clock this week. That's nice. Cut across to Jackson. He's hit, but he holds on at midfield. Jamie Jackson, a completion good for 12 yards. That ball, Jeff Prosky, right on the money for Steven Sarton. He is looking very impressive again. Well, another, you have to give a lot of credit to Jamie. He stretched out for that ball in the middle, knowing that he was going to take a lick after that. In the middle of the field, you want your receivers to go out and grab that ball. Don't let it come to them. Use those hands and bring the ball to you. Don't go after it. Uh, he, he took a, a big chance by stretching out like that. A good play. First and ten ball just shy of midfield. Horns on the roll again. Sarton with uh, aiding and Jackson split out here to the left. Mark the tight end to the right. Turn, give it to Houston. Straight at the middle. He's going. He needs a block. Oh, he'll just outrun him. Seven staying with him, but he won't touch him. It's going to be close. They're going to call him down. Oh, my goodness. I can't. That goes for 50 yards. Mr. Excitement, the blue chipper. Jason Houston up to the one-inch line. How do you prevent that big boy from running right past you or over you or around you? He made the mistake of reaching back to stiff arm the guy, and the guy grabbed his arm. A good play by the defensive back to take what they give you. Uh, a little frustrating to get stopped on the one. Uh, I'm sure he'll remember that and, and, and give a little extra effort on the next carry. He'll probably get the football to try for his third touchdown of the night. Split backs right in Houston. Uh, Sarton may just sneak it over. No, nope, we'll give it to Jason. Flags are down. Jason Benton backfield gets away, dives forward. He's going to be short, but we've got flags down. Something on the line. The uh, line judge is there and talking with the head official, and uh, we'll get them to sort this out to see what the penalty is going to be. They're talking to Stephen Sarton, so it's going to be against the Brazos Cougars. It's offsides against the Cougars, and the Shorthorns will in all likelihood take this penalty so that they will uh, not lose that down. They'll move the football up maybe an inch or two. You can't move it up very closer to the goal line because it's sitting uh, pretty close to the goal line at this point. Uh, that time, Jason met in the backfield, still got away, though forward, but he was uh, slowed down enough to where he couldn't have his uh, momentum carry him into the end zone. Clock is rolling at 2.20 left. Shorthorn's knocking on the door again. Houston and Wright in the backfield. Sarton is your quarterback. Sarton will take the snap, give it to Houston. Cuts outside. He lost the football, fumbled the football, and Brazos has it. That's not what you want to see. You're at point blank range, and you fumble the ball away after a fantastic 50-yard run. But that's the game of football, and the Cougars will take it over at their own five. First down and 10 with 2.08 left. Uh, Jeff, you know that Coach David Hoosman is a little frustrated on that. We had that problem last week. We fumbled the football four times. We were fortunate to come out of that game with a victory with four turnovers. That's very uncharacteristic of Schulenberg football. Uh, I'm sure he's going to want to work on that. And as we've seen before, players have been taken out of the game and not got to play too much when they started letting go of that ball. We'll see if that trend continues this evening. It appeared as though Houston was holding the football uh, up to his body and what was just punched out. First down and 10, offset eye look. Here come the Horns defense. They give it to Lewis. He's met Shepard was one of them. Uh, Gittert is there. Hernandez is there. Paco Valenzuela is there. And it brings up a second down. Brian Valenzuela also on the play. David Reigns in the game now for Steven Adams. No gain on the play, second down and 10. A minute 40 left to go, first quarter. Schulenberg 14, Brazos nothing. A similar game, what we saw in the opening week of the of the season with the Hallettsville ball game, when the Horns just got steamrolling and just never let up, winning that one 68 to 19. Second and 10, they'll hand it to uh, Lewis. Nothing there. May have lost a yard. Good defense by the Shorthorns. Barry Shepard is there. Jared Schrammick and Chad Gintert, the ball, is there. And that brings up third and long. Actually, he lost the yard, Jeff, so we'll go third down and 11 with a minute four left. And who's called timeout? The officials. 
are calling the timeout with 103 left on the scoreboard clock. Schulenberg 14, the Brazos Cougars nothing. Fourteen nothing. Short on football is brought to you every Tuesday night by some fine sponsors, and they include I'm Guan Matula, Bruce and Cindy Bozo, uh, 3D Belt Company, Stephen Sharice Steves, Charles and Gail Bow, Oak Ridge Smokehouse Restaurant, Tom and Dolores Sanders. Horns had it point blank range. First down from the four yard line. First and goal from the four for the Horns. To start the second quarter, they will turn and have it to David Reigns. He gets hit, dies for the touchdown, he gets it. David Reigns with the six points. From four yards out, the Horns now up Jeff 20 to nothing. Start the first, uh, second quarter similar to the way you started the first quarter. Well, what, what this is gonna do to help Schulenberg is, is to help pass from their statistics. The past few weeks, they've been playing some pretty tough teams and the numbers aren't quite up to where they should be. Uh, typifying the, the, the competition we have played. They have kept us relatively 250 yards last week and 300 and something against Yoakum against two good defenses that were holding people down to, to minimum of yards. We got more than their average, but uh, this will help us pad our system, get us back to the top of our category. It will be uh, Shepard to try to add the extra point. Barry Shepard. Snap. Kick is up. It's good. 11.54 left in the first half. It's all Schulenberg. Schulenberg, 21. Brazos, nothing. So Schrammick will tee it up. And will kick it away for the third time here tonight. The Shorthorns lead it. 21 to nothing. So Schrammack will kick it away. His kick is going to go to the right side and it will be taken. Here comes the player. They will, number 10 will keep it. Schrammack has a beat. Anders is there. Gittert lays into him. Also, Aaron Strick again on the tackle. The second defensive play there from the, uh, sec from the uh, special teams. And Paco Valenzuela. Boy, Gennett really laid a lick <laughs> into that one. He kind of just finished the play off. They had two or three guys kind of holding him up, and he gets his licks in every play. You can tell him. If he doesn't get in the tackle, he's going to hit somebody. You can guarantee that. But a clean player, you like a player like that all the time. And he's so quiet. The young man is very quiet off the football field. You put the orange and black on him, and look out. You've got a man possessed. Two splits out to the right. We've got an offset eye look. First down, 10, Brazos. Turn and give it to Johnson. He's met by Kinnert. And here comes the Shorthorn Powell. Seven of the 11 defensive players are in on that tackle, Jeff. That's what you want to see. That's uh, what makes the black attack so strong. Every week you teach, follow the ball. You never know when he's going to break a tackle or something, and you need to be there instead of loafing. Attack everybody, attack the ball, and it pays dividends. 11.20 left to go. First half of play. Schulenberg 21, Brazos nothing. Second down and nine for the Cougars. Ball is uh, at the 27 yard line, is where we'll call it. Don't forget to the half, we will have a look at the Schulenberg High School band, bells, 
twirlers, and various halftime performers, as well as some information. We've got some good information for you about the academics here at Schillenberg High School. That's coming up at the half. You won't want to miss that. Second down handoff. Here's Johnson in the open field. Big boy still on his feet, close to a first down. Remember, Johnson is a senior, one of only a very few. It's going to be gain of uh, 10 on the play and a first down. A nice gain there for Jermaine Johnson. Nice job of locking on the line, caving in on the middle of our line and get a hole for him. Uh, they continue to do that. Look for some good things to happen. Experience is going to pay dividends for this team in the uh, next few years. First down and 10 for the Cougars. Ball at the 37-yard line. 10-25 to go first half. Horns lead 21-0. Johnson looking for the outside. Gets met up. Gennert is there. Bozel is there. And it's going to be a very short game. Romine was also there, as was uh, Jamie Jackson. A gain of three, second down and seven. Ten minutes left now in the first half. Ten minutes remaining, first half of play. Schulberg has scored on three of their four possessions. One, they fumbled near the end zone, but then got it back on a shank punt that went for negative yardage. Second down and seven for the Cougars at 9.40 left to go first half. Offset eye, there's motion, and a penalty should be ass assessed against the Brazos Cougars as the uh, tight end jumped a little too soon, a little too anxious. So you take away the gain of three, and now it's going to be, uh, instead of second and seven, second and uh, 12 for the Brazos Cougars. Once again, uh, on Friday night, as you watch this on Tuesday, uh, coming up Friday night, the uh, Horns will make the trip to the east eight miles against their district rival, the Weimar Wildcats. We'll have the Weimar Wildcats and the Schulenberg Shorthorns on the field and a Wildcat and a Shorthorn in the booth next, uh, or next Tuesday night as you watch that game between Schulenberg and Weimar. Second down, 12 to go for the Cougars. Pitch it right side, Johnson. Fumbled it, lost it, loose football. And Sam Brown is going to recover the football at the 25-yard line, but was the ball out of bounds? We have still not seen an indication from the officials. Sam Brown had the football, and they say no, that he was out of bounds. Brown made a good hustling play. The ball, the ball should be back at the 25, and yet they have marked it up to the 29. That ball, Brown recovered it at about the 25-yard line. One official is standing at the 25 and saying, we need the football down here. But the other three officials are saying, no, we're going to mark it at the 29. Uh, Brown did make the recovery at the 29, 25 and then went out of bounds. And now they finally move the football back to the 25-yard line. My goodness. Third down and uh, 22. Did it sound? Did it feel like Wheatley all over again? <laughs> Wheatley, if you watched the film last week, we had two fumbles that were ours and they never called. Uh, I can understand the ball going out of bounds before he touched it, but I couldn't understand why they marked it five yards further up. But uh, eventually they got their wires, cr wires straight together and got it all together. So third down and 22 for the Brazos Cougars. Passing uh, situation for the Cougs. Dropping back, Shepard has a sack. Barry Shepard with a quarterback sack. Sam Brown also the left side pressure. That's a huge loss. Fourth down and tomorrow.